morning guys. The kids are at school and I'm actually packaging up my Tartlet palette because I sold it on Poshmark last night. I had somebody ask me how the Poshmark thing was going in the comments and it's going freaking great. I've had really good luck um, selling a lot of my makeup on there. I've still got stuff left, don't get me wrong. And then I still have stuff to add. I make sure I package everything really nicely and I wrap everything in bubble wrap because I'm like scared that it's gonna like get to somebody and then this stuff's gonna be shattered from being in the mail. So I try to package everything really nice. So yeah, Poshmark's going good. Um, if any of you have been on the fence about selling any of your things on Poshmark, I mean, I'm glad I bit the bullet because I've had a lot of success with it and um, it's, been, it's turned out to be a really good and easy thing. Um, and you just like make a little extra money on things that you would just be probably throwing out or giving away anyways. So, um, I enjoy it a lot. I've had a lot of success. Just packages, packaging this guy up. But yeah, I'll leave my closet name um, on the screen if you guys wanna check out my closet, but I just wrap it up in bubble wrap and stick it in this envelope and they give you a package slip to print out and stick on your package. Um, I need to add some more stuff. I don't have just like, well, basically all I have on there right now is makeup, but I've got other things that I wanna put on there too, like jewelry and shoes and um, handbags and stuff like that. So. Um, I need to add them on there. The only thing is that like adding stuff on there and like taking your pictures and updating your listing and stuff, it is kind of time, time consuming and you really have to like sit down and take some time to do it. So I don't update too, too often, but like yesterday I added an hourglass palette. Um, I added the Anastasia contour kit and I added the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. And I really like the Naked Ultimate Basics. Um, it was one of my most used palettes at one point that I just don't use it anymore. I have other palettes that I'm really loving. Like my top four palettes right now that I absolutely love are the Too Faced Peachy Mattes, the Tarte Man Eater, the Jessie Palette by Alexa Persico, and Soft Glam from Anastasia. Those are the ones that I have been using like crazy and the ones that I love the most. Today I'm wearing Anastasia Soft Glam. And speaking of Soft Glam, I need to do um, a get ready with me using that one because I've done one, I've, I've done a makeup look with the Jessie palette and with the Tarte Man Eater. And I'll link those down below in case you guys have missed those or you wanna see them. Um, but I love those palettes. I think I've done a look with the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes as well, just like an everyday look. If I did, I'll link that one down below as well. Um, but I really need to do one with the Anastasia. Packaged up, ready to go. I just need to drop that off at the post office. Um, what else should I update you guys on? Mm, oh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I've been trying to Insta stories a lot more. I haven't really been using Snapchat that much. I just like Insta stories better. But I tinted my own eyebrows and I waxed them at home. I was feeling really frisky. Um, I don't know if you guys follow her. I'm sure you do. She's got almost a million followers, what am I saying? Um, it's Stephanie Lita on YouTube. I love her channel. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. She has a video where she like does her waxing and tinting at home. And I've always wanted to do that because if you guys have seen my makeup videos before, you've seen me without makeup and on my vlogs too, but my eyebrows are super light. They're a lot lighter than my hair color and I've always wanted to try tinting them, but I never wanted to like make an appointment and go somewhere and get it done. Um, so I decided to just like do it at home. Plus, I only wax my, get my eyebrows waxed like once a month. And even only doing it once a month, I still hate going to get it done because it always hurts so bad. So I just decided to try it all at home. It was awesome. Like I barely filled them in today. It's so easy. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I used. So on my Instagram story, this is gonna be a little bit repetitive for you. So you can just skip ahead. But I used the Sally Hansen uh, wax kit. This is for face and bikini. She's got a couple different ones. One is like, a big box for body. So if you are planning on trying this at home, get the, make sure you get the one for face and bikini. But this comes with 34 wax strips. There's three different sizes and um, this thing's gonna last a long time. But this was so easy to use and it didn't hurt at all. I was very surprised because every time I get my brows done at the salon, it freaking hurts. And then for tinting, 
I used the Just For Men um, beard and mustache and it's in the shade medium brown and um, it's a really good color for me. It matches like when I fill my brows in perfectly. Um, but I was really nervous to try this because I've heard some people like have really bad reactions to it. But I honestly think either the people that that happens to either have super duper sensitive skin or they don't follow the directions properly. You know what I mean? So um, I didn't have any problems. It was super easy. I had no reaction at all whatsoever. It literally took me 10 minutes total waxing and um, mixing. And with this um, beard, what is this? The mustache and beard, the Just For Men, um, it comes with little bottles. Let me open it. This is the kit here. So it's like, it's not a one-time use thing. You've got your developer and then your color base and these little screw top tubes and you literally need the tiniest amount it comes with this little brush too which is nice and thin and perfect for applying the product to your brows but you could use like a makeup brush or a spoolie or something if you wanted to but you only need the tiniest amount so this is going to last so long i imagine that the brow tint will last at least six weeks that's what i hear from other reviews and stuff like that but of course, I'm sure that varies person to person and how often you wash your face, how often you exfoliate, that kind of thing. Um, but I am like really happy about this. Um, I can easily, like whatever I can do at home that like saves me a trip from having to go somewhere, I'm all about. So I'm really happy with this whole situation. It was super easy. The only places that I waxed was in the center of my brow and underneath. I didn't wax the top because I don't really feel like I need it. Um, but yeah, it worked like a charm. If you guys want me to do a video of me doing my brows, like waxing and coloring it, like the next time that I do it, um, maybe I'll like put it in a vlog or something, or if you wanted some video, I can do that to show you guys how I did it. But it was so easy. And both of those you can find at Target and it was less than $20. And multiple uses, it'll probably last me, I would imagine at least until Christmas, like the end of the year, because that comes with a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do today. I own the kids only have a few more weeks of school left before they're all home for summer and I don't get my Tuesdays and Thursdays off anymore. So I kind of, I, I try to be productive on the days that I have off because I can get a lot of stuff done. But since my days off are sh coming to an end very shortly, I think I might just take it easy today and just like lay around and relax and really take advantage of this time. I think that their last day is like May 15th. It's like in the middle of May for the babies for Tuesdays and Thursdays, which means they only have like four days of actual school left. And I really need to take advantage of um, these days that I don't have them and just like relax and like enjoy a, a peacefully quiet house and watch TV without being interrupted. Um, but I do need to get a run in before I pick them up today. I've still been running and doing really good at that. This week, however, I've been, I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with my eating. Not entirely, but like the first like six weeks I did super good. And then this week, it just like, I don't know what it, what it is. I've just kind of fallen off the bandwagon with eating um, as healthy as I was. So on Monday, I really need to like get back into eating healthy because the eating healthy bit, even though I'm doing good with my running, like eating healthy is like 80% of having a nice body. So um, I need to get back on my, on my eating healthy, but I know that that's not going to happen this weekend because Friday we're going to the Astros game. Me and Kevin are. It's my first game of the season. So we're going to go to the Astros game. So I know we're probably going to go to dinner after and we're gonna drink beer at the game and so i know tomorrow i'm just it's not gonna be good for me eating um and then saturday we're taking the kids to the movies um avengers infinity war that's the name i can't believe i forgot it because kason talks about it all the time but the avengers infinity war comes out this weekend and kason has been begging to see this movie since like February when the trailer came out. So we're taking the kids to the movies on Saturday and I'm assuming we're going to go out to dinner then too. So I know Saturday night I'm not going to eat good. Um, Sunday I'll probably be able to eat good. And then Monday, like just start fresh with the eating good. So I'm just like kind of, I guess, taking a break from the healthy eating and getting everything out of my system that I want to eat this week and then starting back up again on Monday. So <laughs> Oh yeah, I totally cheated this week, but I've still been running every day. 
which is really good. I think I took, I didn't work out last Friday. It's either Friday or Saturday, it didn't work out because I was just like, I could tell my body needed a break, so I just took a break. But um, I need to get a run in today, so that's really the only thing on the agenda. I was gonna film some videos today. Like, I really need to film an empties, but I have a question. Do you guys enjoy empties videos? Like. I feel like empties videos are kind of boring, so I don't even know if I even want to even film that because I don't even really care to watch empties. I think they're kind of boring. Um, and then I wanted to do a what's in my bag um, for my Gucci Soho. Um, I have some makeup that I've purchased over the last few months that I kind of wanted to haul, but I feel like it'd kind of be worthless because I feel like I've kind of talked about everything in little bits and pieces in different videos and stuff. So I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna film any videos today. I'm just like not feeling it and I just wanna kinda like hang out and be lazy and enjoy my day off because these are about to stop for summer. So I think I'm just gonna hang out and pick the camera back up when the kids get home. So I'm about to go do my workout but I wanted to come on here really quick. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but um, some of you guys are not gonna like this, what I'm about to say, but I've been trying out and testing out and wearing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk for like the last three to four weeks. And um, at first, I wasn't down for it because it was breaking up really bad. Um, so I switched concealers and it seemed like it had been working for a little while, but I'm back to breaking up again. So um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but all right here, my makeup is completely gone. And um, I've, what time is it? It's 12.40, I put my makeup on at 8.30 this morning. The max wear I can get out of this foundation is three and a half to four hours before my makeup starts to come off. And by the end of the day, like I wore this all day yesterday, by the end of the day, I had no makeup left on my face. Makeup looks okay from far away, but once you get close up, like I have no makeup right here and it gets so splotchy and it just slowly pans out and fades throughout the day. Like yesterday I put my makeup on, I went to the gym that morning and I put makeup on, I think like around noon, by six o'clock that evening, I had nothing left on my face. It really sucks, but I won't be repurchasing that foundation. I honestly, my two very most favorite foundations that work the best for me are Make It Forever Ultra HD and the Dior Forever Skin. Um, I have the Hourglass Vanish Stick, which I do like. Um, it gives a beautiful coverage and I really do like that foundation. It gives a very similar look to Dior Skin, but I prefer the Dior Forever over the Vanish Stick just because I find that liquids are easier to work with than the stick foundation. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to purchase the Make It Forever Ultra HD in place of the Giorgio Armani because the Luminous Silk just doesn't wear. And I've tried multiple powders to set it with, multiple primers, um, different moisturizers like to prep beforehand, and it just completely takes it off. So, really sucks. I know a lot of you really like that foundation, and I've, I've wanted to love it so bad, and it looks beautiful when I first put it on, but it just does not wear well on me, so. <sighs> I just got done running and I'm about to hop in the shower. But I realized I need to make something clear about the Luminous Silk. For one reason or another, when I wear it by itself, it doesn't wear that great. But if I mix it with something, like the only thing I tried to mix it with so far is, this is Maybelline, I think. Yeah, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. When I mix these two together, I get an amazing result. Very long lasting, I don't break up, I don't have the breakup problem, so by itself, I don't like it. But if I mix it with something, I do like it. But also, with that being said, for the price of this, I don't feel like I should have to mix it with something. Um, and that's just for me. I know there's a lot of you that love and adore this foundation and it works great for you, but for one reason or another, it just doesn't work for me on its own. Um, but yeah, this shade, by the way, is a lot darker because um, I purchased this one. I mentioned this in my um, Jesse Palette makeup tutorial um, that I got a darker version because I was self-tanned and I needed to mix the colors. And I even said in that video that I love this to mix together. Um, so yeah, 
This mixed with a more fuller coverage foundation, um, it wears a lot better on me throughout the day, but for one reason or another, it doesn't wear well on its own. So I wanted to come on here and say that because um, I think maybe saying that this didn't work for me now may be a little bit confusing, but mixed, great. On its own, for some reason, not so much. Back home now. Hey, no, no, give me that. Thank you. We're back home now. The kids are having a snack, watching Power Rangers, and I'm about to get myself tan on. Because Kevin and I are going to the Astros game tomorrow, and I'm going to be wearing shorts, and I want to be tan. And I just picked up a new little shirt. Yeah, you're going to Mama's house. I picked up this cute little Houston shirt from Pretty Little Things Boutique here in Kingwood. And uh, they have an online store, prettylittlethingsboutique.com or something. I'll leave their store down below. Um, but if you live in the Houston area and you're looking for like a cute, different styled like Astro shirt, hit them up, they got a cute one. Tan is on. It's a two hour express tan. And this is the one, it's the St. Tropez um, Advanced One Hour Tan. You leave it on for one hour, two hour, or three hour, depending on how dark you wanna be. And um, I got this because I didn't feel like ordering the Loving Tan, and I picked this one up at my local Ulta. And it's good. Um, it does get you really dark, but I do prefer the Loving Tan. I like the tone of Loving, of loving Tan better. The St. Tropez is a little warmer and the Loving Tan is more olive. So Lainey and I are loaded up in the car. We're going to pick up Lexi. She's at the golf course. She's on the golf team this year. Um, and I had to change clothes. I'm in my PJs because um, if any of you self-tan, you know how sticky you get afterwards. So I have no bra on, free balling it as a girl and uh, wearing as loose clothes as possible because I just am a sticky old mess. But my color will develop really fast, which is just what I want. ready to cook dinner. We are recreating the Chick-fil-A market salad for dinner. It's baby spinach. It said iceberg lettuce, but I picked romaine instead. And apples, blueberries, pecans, chicken obviously. And it come, or you're supposed to serve it with the apple cider vinaigrette dressing, but it's got a lot of fat in it. So we're doing um, a yogurt based honey mustard instead um, by what? I have it. Hold on, let's see. It's seriously so good and there's like nothing to it. It's the Bolt House Farms. Love the Bolt House Farms um, yogurt dressings. It's only 45 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, and 6 gram carb. So, it's a great dressing. Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers!